Hello fellows and fellows and welcome to the Homestead Prepper channel. And uh, what you're looking at today is um, I'm over at another prepper's home and uh, what he's done is he's got some uh, compressors he's pulled out of some old refrigerators that quit working. You know, uh, a lot of times the refrigerator uh, will leak the Freon or it'll have some type of uh, electronic control problem in it and it's cheaper just to go buy a new one. But a lot of times the compressor uh, is good and uh, what this uh, prepper has done is he's pulled out several of these things and uh, we're going to show you what what you can use them for and um, whenever you get a compressor out of a refrigerator you want to make sure that it's working which you could plug it in and you could put your hand on it like this one and you can, they don't really make a lot of noise you know like a big air compressor in a shop because if it made that kind of racket your wife would definitely want another one so but they, they run kind of quiet and um, wh whenever you get one you want to make sure it's complete and this one is missing the capacitor and the start relay this one right here has the capacitor and the start relay on it and uh, what this uh, prepper has done over here is he just cut a cord off of something and he's uh, just hooked the white to the white and uh, the black to the red, the red, the colored wire usually is the uh, hot wire, and he's grounded the thing, okay? And uh, these compressors, oh, and also you don't want to tip it over because it's got oil in it, and it'll get real messy. But uh, the way it works is that this, the larger pipe, and this is the same in air conditioning and refrigeration, the larger pipe is the suction pipe, so this actually will suck, okay? And this right here, is the skinny pipe and it it, uh, it is the one that creates the pressure so you put that on there anyway y'all get the idea but they're, they're real easy to come across and uh, like I said in this is what this prepper has done with it someone threw away this pancake compressor and he's retrofitted retrofitted a uh, refrigerator compressor on top of it and uh, it's pumped it up I like I said, I think the maximum is 250 or 270 PSI. But this has got an automatic uh, shut off. It shuts off around 125, 130, something like that. And um, so it's definitely, you know, building up some pressure. And uh, what else I wanted to show you? Is uh, what, what something else you can do with a refrigerator compressor? I need to unplug this. This is what you're looking at here is my uh, vacuum pump that I use for air conditioning and refrigeration, and um, this is a six CFM Robin Air, and I, I was probably about ten years old, and it works really good. And this has got oil in it. There's the oil you fill it up with. And you turn this thing on. And uh, for air conditioning what you want to do is you want to, well let's, let's turn that off, it makes too much racket, is you want to pull all the uh, atmosphere out of the, uh, the lines. You want to get the moisture, the nitrogen, the oxygen, all the non-condensables. And when you pull a nice vacuum on there then you want to put just pure Freon in there. Now if you don't pull a vacuum then you'll get uh, that oxygen and water will react with the Freon and it makes uh, can make all kinds of nasty acids in there and it'll eat holes in your coil. So like I said this is $300 and over here this this is compressing the air and this is working on a compressor but what this thing will do is right here it's blowing out air this is sucking if you were to get a compression fitting and uh, use these manifold gauges over here of course, I know you're going to need R134A gauges, but what I did is I just um, soldered a fitting so that I could use my gauges instead of paying for those uh, R134s that just have the quick clips on them. But you can take one of these, and this is a free vacuum pump. It costs you nothing. So you got something over there for $300. Of course, now that is a professional one. And this one over here for free just cost you a little bit of your time getting it out of there. So, we just wanted to show you 
what you could do and being that money you know is tight nowadays and it'll probably get tighter in the future um, don't don't throw anything out that's useful homestead prepper out